Well, how do there, Charms Design, Captain of the Steves, and I'm back with another living shippy type video because I think these might be integral to the next update. I just got a weird feeling. So, I've shown people how to get the living ship, and now I'm going to show people how you can get modules for the ship. So, I'm on about these things that you can then install. You can also evolve them using nanites. You see, there it's actually a C class right now. If I just press square on it, I should be able to install it into the actual um, system over here. Not only that, I should be able to then evolve it by using nanites. Look at that. I can take it up to an S class. Pretty darn freaking groovy, huh? I'm going to stick that over there. There you go. Got the adjacency bonus. So, where am I getting these and how am I getting them? I will show you. Okay, so I made a video a number of years ago about an area of space. It's this area of space right here inside of Euclid. Now you need to come here in a living ship. If you're not in a living ship, all you're going to spawn in is derelict freighter type things and pirate freighter type things. Or traders. That's pretty much it. Okay, so you need a living ship. You need to get in your living ship, fly on out of the station inside of the system, and then you just need to pulse. And you don't need to pulse far. Now, I did put my freighter out just past the distance that I need to pulse to. So I'm just going to pulse now. Zoom, and I'm on my way. And we'll see if we get some sort of communique or some sort of breach or break inside of my pulsing. And it should be Melody of the Egg. Let's see if that happens. Let's see if that takes place. There we go. Alien Melody. There we are. And you just blow that up. And I've got a different module this time. I'm just going to carry on flying over towards my capital ship. Once I get there, I'm just going to turn around and fly back to the station. As simple as, as that, people. So, flying over here. I'm just going to break, turn it round, and fly back to the station, people. So, let's do that. And sometimes, if you're lucky, you get an extra one spawn in right before you get back to the station. Doesn't always happen. But we'll get back to the station, I'll show you what you do with the next step. So we go. I mean, what I what you can do is fly into your freighter. And I, I, I'll show you another way in a moment. So I didn't get a second one. It's, it's it, You used to be able to get two. Now I'm only getting one. So I'll show you why I've put my freighter there in a second, people. So we go. I'm going to jump out of my ship here. Kaboom! And I didn't get a second one. That part doesn't seem to work for me anymore, but it did in the old video. Then all I'm going to do is restore the last save point, which is the one that I just made by jumping out of my ship. So I should still have that thing that you just saw me pick up. It looks like a photon cannon. Okay, well I'm back in. Let's just check to see if I've got the photon cannon. There it is there. So I can install that one now if I wanted to as well. So what does that one look like? It looks like that one, doesn't it? The spewing vents. And now that it's in, I should be able to upgrade it. There you are. Done. All the way up to West Class. Right now, I'm just going to jump in my ship. I'm going to fly on out. And I'm going to head towards, and this time, get the actual melody of the egg. Pop it. There you go. I'm going to lock onto my freighter. Flying towards it now. Zoom. Dum 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 da da dum. Dum 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 da da dum. Because it seems that the flight back is kind of useless now. You don't get the one on the flight back. There you go. Melody the egg. Kaboom! And we've got the spewing vents this time. I'm going to fly onto my capital ship. As I'm flying to my capital ship, I'm just going to install this as well. Okay, this goes there then. And I'm going to evolve that. Now, my freighter is just a little bit past where it's going to spawn. Oh! And look at that, we've got a second one. That's the first time I've got two in a row like that. Okay, right, so here we go. I'm going to install that one. And that looks like that one, so I'm going to stick it there. And I'm going to evolve that. Sweet. Okay, right. Let's go and fly inside of my freighter. Because then I'm going to make another autosave in my freighter. Reload in my freighter. And then fly back to the station hopefully get some more on the way back to the station there we go lovely lovely coming on board sweet so I'm going to jump out now 
Kaboom. That's going to create a, another autosave. And I've already installed the technology. I'm just going to do a reload there. Lovely. I'm just going to jump back in my ship. Flying out. Now we're going to look for the station, which is over there. I'm going to lock onto the station and fly back to the station. Well, I will once I've cleared the proximity of my freighter. Come on. Any second now. There we are. And hopefully we're going to get another one of those Melody of the Egg spawn in. Maybe we might even get two if we're super lucky. We'll see. Boom. Oh, well, that looks like an S-Class already. Very cool. And let's Karen to continue our flight to the station and see if we get lucky and see if we get the second one. But I don't think we will. We'll see though. Three, two, one. Yes, we got a second one that's worked well. Lovely jubbly. As long as you pop them one straight after the other, it looks like you do still get two. All right, well, then I'm going to fly inside the station. And all I'm going to do is get these installed. So here we are. Stick that one there. We'll upgrade that to S class. We'll install that one. Oh, it's one of these eyeball-y ones here. And we get that one. Oh, it's already S-Class, isn't it? All right, well, I might as well move this, whatever that is, and put it down here somewhere. And hopefully we get more modules. Cool. All right. Well, now I'm going to jump out my ship. That's created a new save. And I'm going to reload that one. Fly back to my freighter. Okay, so here we go. Let's just jump in the ship. Fly back out. Up a chow! Aim towards my freighter, which if I look at my freighter, uh, it doesn't actually tell me how many use away it is. Oh well. Well anyway, it's like double the pulse rate roughly. It's about, what, 20 seconds to get your first one, and then another 20 seconds for pulse, something like that anyway. There we go. So let's see how we get on. Dum, dum, dum. We're gonna get a melody of the egg any second around. There we go. Zappity do that. And then continue on. And let's hope that I get another one. It's very tight, it's very close. No, I didn't get it this time. So what I might do is just move my freighter just a little bit further. So I'm almost guaranteed. So there you go. Because it's right on the limit, isn't it? So I'm just going to pulse just a tad further for my freighter. And I'm going to redeploy my freighter here. Because it's right on the cusp of working at the moment. And hopefully that gives me a little bit more leeway. I think I've just been very lucky to be getting two. Because I've been hitting it right on time. Cool. So there we go. And before I jump out, I'm just going to make sure I install this. Okay, so it's a brain one this time. That's awesome. Done. I mean, the longer you do this, the harder it is to get the pieces that you need. I mean, I'm going to be back there just to get the S-Class boost on that. Cool. Jump on out. That creates a save. Lovely jubbly. Reload the save. And this time I'll be guaranteed, I think, to get two now that I've moved my freighter a little bit. So like I say, you have to be in your living ship. This doesn't work with normal ships. On the other video that I put out ages ago, I've had lots of people saying, oh, this worked fantastically well, thank you very much. And other people saying, this doesn't work anymore. I can only but imagine that they haven't been doing it in their living ship. Or they're in the wrong galaxy. Maybe they're not in Euclid. Really don't know, but it's still working for me. And when I did this, it was on my PlayStation 4. It still works on PlayStation 5. This is now on PC. So it works on multiple platforms as well. So all those people that are saying that it's not working, I'd imagine it's something your end that's gone, gone astray. Maybe you're not using your living ship. Maybe you're not in the Euclid system, but it's working fine for me. I'm going to get us to the station. I'll give you the portal code again, people. There we go. Melody the egg. And I've got another five seconds of pulse left to spare now. So there we are. Awesome. <laughs> it would be funny if another one freaking chimed in. It shouldn't do, but there we are. We're flying in. 
Fly to the station, create a say well, I'll give you the portal code once I get back inside the station. And I'll also show you the system. So the system this is in, you should have Planet Gripanax. That's normally the one you come through on the um, portal. But that's the actual name of the system. Kitima Enhol. Discovered by Zeph013. Okay, anyway, let's fly on in. And I'll give you that portal code. Portal code once more in the bottom left corner there. I'll make that nice and big on the screen. If you would love to, or yep, if you could, please subscribe. That'd be freaking awesome if you haven't already. If you have, hit a like. Have a, add a comment if it worked for you, you know? That'd be pretty lovely. Right, so I'm gonna jump on out. That creates the autosave. And, oh, did, did I actually install the modules this time? No, I did not. So I'm gonna install those anyway. So I get that one in there. Upgradey, upgradey, upgradey. And I'm going to install that one over there. Upgrade. I'm going to jump in my ship out of my ship. Just so I've got that saved. And then I'm going to do another reload. So we go. Reload. And if you haven't got a capital ship to put at the other end, you can always just summon in the Nexus and fly into the Nexus because you can create an auto save there. So you don't need a capital ship. I'm just using the capital ship just as my marker or somewhere to head to. But there's also an alternate reason why I'm using my capital ship as an alternate sort of reason. And that's so I can get Cynotic Eggs and I can get Expanding Sacks or Spawning Sacks as they're called. And I want to try and get myself one of those um, strange membranes that lets you land your living ship on water. There we go. Boom. I've got a grafted eye. Sweet. Let's continue on. I'll show you how I'm getting those. It's basically just running frigate missions. But you have to you run the frigate missions when you've got living frigates to send on those missions. There we go. Kaboom. And sorry about all this pixelization when we're actually, you know, pulsing. Not much I can do about that really. It's it's um I guess some sort of thing with YouTube and how it processes the video. It doesn't like all those stars flying past. It must be some sort of video compression. Dunno. But uh, it doesn't like it. Sweet! We're flying in. We get these two installed. So that's an engine one. So that's the engines fully upgraded. Get that one installed. That's another one of these eyes. That's that thing fully upgraded, whatever that freaking thing is. Okay, so I'm jumping out. That's creating a save. I'm just going to run upstairs and uh, I'm going to see if I've got any frigate missions I can send my frigates out on. I've done all of them, I think. I don't think there's going to be any new ones, but we can but hope. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's see if there's any new missions. No, they're still on cooldown and I'm not too sure how, how soon they refresh. If you know the refresh rate on these, I think it's 24 hours. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, let us know. But there we go. So hopefully I'll be able to run those and also do some more pulse fishing in next episode. I think I've done enough today. I mean, my living ship's looking pretty darn freaking swanky. I have sent out my missions on my freighter. And inside of my freighter, I have now got four Cyclonocket eggs. And I have got some storage sacks. I've got like two of them. I'm going to be doing this all week to see how many I actually get. People are telling me that these aren't spawning for them, no matter what they do. I'm going to send out frigate missions every single day and see how many I get within the space of seven days. So by next Tuesday, we'll find out how many I have. If I don't have many, I might be a bit naughty and duplicate them. And I will be showing you guys in the view of us how I duplicate them. Yes, but until next time, people, I think, that, I think that's pretty much everything that I have for you. So the prerequisites of this is you need to be in your living ship and you need to be in the Euclid system in that portal code down there. That's got, that's got a double bird in front of it. Hold on, let me just jump back over here. So that's the portal code. I'll make that nice and big for you on the screen, I guess. But yeah, so it's in the Euclid system. You need to be in your living ship. You need to be out of pulse for a pretty good distance and then pulse again for a pretty good distance because you're going to get one, then you're going to get another spawn and then leave some opportune time calling your freighter so you can do the reload back and forth, back and forth, get two each time and hopefully you're going to be able to do this how I've done it in a very tandem-esque type way. 
there you go people that's pretty much everything i got for you now i did not discover this and there was a lot of people i had to thank in my previous video so you know what just hit on up my previous video if you want to find out who actually found this out in the first place but i would imagine that the first person that found this out might have been the person that actually found the system but as we know you know names change all sorts of other stuff but i gave credit where credit is due in my first video discovered seven years ago I think this system came into effect roughly about four years ago when the living ship dropped in, but I could be wrong. But anyway, people, take care. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.